hey hello friends uh, welcome back to my channel uh, so this is Roshan and um, uh, today uh, we are going to see what is the sonar cube in very uh, easy and very simple uh, way so uh, rather than taking much time uh, just let's get started with the sonar cube so uh, what is exactly the sonar cube and why we need it so uh, first of all let me uh, tell you uh, this is one of the devops tool and what is the devops tool uh, so devops tool is uh, mainly uh, we used in the ci cd uh, which is continuous integration and continuous deployment so it helps the developers okay so we are the developers and uh, how it helps us so uh, let's see uh, how it helps us so uh, why we need the sonar cube so see uh, most of the time we see that our uh, like uh, colleagues do the core review for us okay and then uh, they like uh, tell us all these things in our code like by looking at the code they gives us the different uh, suggestions like uh, don't use this uh, variable because it is not used and uh, the other way is like uh, if there is a null there is a chances of getting the null pointer exception in the java so the sonar cube is actually uh, used for every programming language so but but let's take an example of java so suppose uh, in the java we might be getting the null pointer exception so that these all things if we get to know before the deployment of our code in the production so that will be very easy because it, it will save a lot of time for us and it will also like avoid having the production issues or the bugs which is caused just due to our like code quality okay so why to use the sonar cube so sonar cube, uh, sonar cube is used for keeping our code clean simple and easy to read okay so that if someone is reading our code he should not say that hey man what you written like this so so it actually uh, does the job for us this job for us the other is like it also like generates the report so reports based on like what are the bugs are there in your code what are the code smells are there and what are the different vulnerabilities are there if there is a code duplications like how we can like uh, if there is a code duplication we can avoid the code dupli duplication and we can write a method instead of that and we can call that method so those kind of stuffs so let's get started with our like uh, how to install and how to download this sonar cube and uh, how we can write our first project so that uh, we get to know the insights of it so uh, so first of all so i would like to go on the sonar cube website so here which is open i have opened here so like uh, sonar cube is open source guys so there are different versions of sonar cube you can go here on the download so they come up with this uh, community edition as well so uh, based on the different uh, like uh, license uh, license are there so you can go for the community for now and uh, you can see like uh, there are features like static code analysis for uh, 15 different languages okay so like it, it covers mostly java javascript c sharp typescript everything is there and uh, so all these features are there detect bugs vulnerabilities as i said review security hotspot all the things are there uh, let's just get start download for it so it will start downloading so yeah uh, so i have already downloaded so our download is finished and we have downloaded it so i have moved it to my tools folder so here i have moved it to my sonar cube so here you can see this gif file i have extracted here and you can go to this folder so here uh, there is a different folders are there uh, let's say configuration folder is there what is there in configuration folder so just let's open this wrapper configuration so it is for the jvm configurations okay so uh, how much jvm memory you have to give max memory all these things you can uh, like uh, give all these uh, parameters here okay you can explore this file and the other file is sonar properties file 
so by default like sonar uh, like uh, uh, starts on the uh, 9000 port so if you can search here 9000 so this is the port on which like sonar starts if you want to change that port you can change that port so uh, let's not go into deeper for these properties uh, because uh, we will go to the uh, terminal and we'll go to the sonar cube uh, folder so let's go to the sonar cube as i said so here how to start this sonar cube okay so we can go to the bin and here we are having different folders as per the different platform so we are having the linux here so just go to the linux and here we are having the sonar.sh so my sonar is running right now so we can check like that so we can check the status of sonar so if it's not running like uh, first of all when we take it it's not running we have to like uh, let's stop it i will show you from the beginning and uh, yeah it is stopped so the first thing like we have to go here in this folder you can see my working directory here and i'm going i'm like running the sonar cube and i will do the start so you can see here like it is starting the sonar cube and sonar cube is started successfully so before doing to that you make sure that you have installed the jerry so uh, java is installed on your system otherwise it won't start okay so i'm using the java 11 right now okay and uh, it just you can hit this command start and it will start for you so uh, uh, let's go to the browser again then we can give the port 9000 as, as I said like it listens on the 9000 username and password so you can simply do admin admin okay admin admin and you can log in into it so the first of all so first time when you log in it will ask you for this password change so old password let's add admin and the uh, new password let's say i'm adding my password here you can set your own password that's not the problem and here see uh, so i already have two projects here but uh, let's see like how these projects came here okay so for that one i'll go to this sonar cube uh, demo project so this is my simple my main project i created in the IntelliJ. so i will show you all these things so see uh, this is the simple maven project i created and then simply i added some of the maven plugins okay so this is the compiler plugin for compiling the java code uh, this is maven surefire plugin for this uh, for the report generation and then uh, finally the most important one that we need here is we need the sonar maven plugin here so you can uh, take whichever the recent version you are having so once it is done and uh, you can like do the uh, maven install here reload a project or you can do the download sources so once it is done then you can go to maven here and you can see like this in the plugins you can see like sonar is there okay and this is what the tool that you we have to run but let's say like we have given our uh, like uh, password here the custom password for sonar and it will like try to connect on the default username and password so that's why i will like run it from here uh, but let's go to the code side first before like running it so this is the simple application i created here so not much complicated so just created one variable and i just want to show you some of the code smells here so this is the variable i uh, declared here integer a and i have not used it okay 
so this is a simple thing uh, other thing is like uh, let's say um, uh, we are like uh, suppose uh, we can have the other things as well let's say suppose we can have the application a here which is which might be null and suppose uh, suppose we are having here private uh, int and then b okay b equal to 90 let's say and uh, what we are doing here is so like uh, some of the ids also like gives you the uh, so this is the compiler error so let's uh, refer to as app okay instead of a because which is already declared and we'll get one port smell here that i already told you like uh, a is like unused other is like app and uh, i would like to use the app dot uh, b here so here obviously we will get the null pointer exception here correct uh, so it is not uh, initialized so let's get in initialize it with the null and id like itself gives the like will produce the null pointer exception but uh, don't worry about the id for now and let's run our Ma uh, sonar cube here so as i said so this is the command for the sonar cube if you can see here sonar and then uh, don't uh, forget to provide the exact username and password that you have set there so yeah, i'll insert my password here and i'll just hit enter so this is a very simple project that i uh, like created uh, rather than going into the complex one so it's like started loading quality profiles and all these things so these are the locks from the sonar cube and one more thing i want to show if something goes wrong you can go to this uh, sonar cube directory and you can go to the logs folder here and you can obviously look into all is there and you can look into the recent log uh, so let's go to the 0926 okay so here you can see all these logs okay if something goes wrong so this is just additional stuff that I want to tell you uh, so this is done uh, sorry uh, our project was yeah sonar cube demo uh, so build is successful and let's go to the uh, browser and we open this projects and see this is the uh, sonar cube demo again and see this is the bug we got here okay let's open that bug so the bug is uh, Null pointer exception app is nullable as we like ID already given to us uh, this uh, intellectual. But let's see, like this is the application, and here they already given this null pointer exception. So there is a chances of getting null pointer exception here, and we have to avoid that one. Okay, correct. So this is the bug. So what is the course mails? Uh, we can go to the course mail as well. Uh, let's just go to the bugs and see here is the course mail uh, so we can go to there uh, we can click on this one it will di redirect us to the direct code as i shown earlier as well so here it is showing like don't use the out or error okay uh, so by using a logger you can do this one so that is the better approach rather than using system out so this is how the sonar cube is so as we find the bugs and that's why it is saying it's failed uh, it's like uh, status of this one can get changed as per the uh, like if you don't have the bugs and all so let's like comment out this code for here right now and let's see what happens
so it will analyze all the source files here so mm, let's go here again okay and uh, let's go to the sonar cube demo so which is showing has failed right now so there are no bugs right now but see the course mails are here okay and that's why it is showing as uh, failed so let's like uh, write a proper code here let's say int a equal to 10 okay and system dot out dot printing addition int a int b equal to 20 and we'll check now like addition equal to a plus b and let's avoid this one so this is our like we can see a proper code but let's see what happens So like meanwhile we can go to the overview we can go to the projects here so see this is passed this time okay and we can go here we don't have the bugs we don't have the codes mails so that's all like this is the sonar cubes uh, logic and the magic we can say uh, so there are a lot of rules that we can define here just go apart from this we can go to the different rules so like see uh, in the java so what kind of rules it hits okay there are different kinds of hits so uh, rules so you can go to the different languages here uh, different programming languages and you can get what are the best practices which like converted into the rules and that rules get applied power code so here uh, you can see that if someone is using equals like uh, if someone is uh, using equals uh, should not be used to test the values of atomic classes so that is true like and the order is like equals to plus should not be uh, used instead of plus equal to so that is also one of the rule so there are different rules are there which gets applied uh, to our source code and then uh, it gives us the uh, analysis for, for our code and that's why it is said as a static code analysis okay so it is not going to run your code but it will like look into your code and it will give, give you all the insights like whatever the issues are there like whatever the bugs are there whatever the vulnerabilities are there uh, security hotspot are there so all these things you will get here and you will also see the reports here in a very good man so like currently it's using some database like might be s2 but you can use the different databases like mysql and other databases you can do and as i shown you uh, you can like change this uh, into the properties okay so properties are there you can go to that properties and you can ch change the database as well so uh, that's all uh, for the uh, uh, sonar cube if anyone have any of the uh, doubts and the questions and queries so you can like comment me uh, so i will like try to give the answer for those queries and guys don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel so that you will be in contact with me and uh, i'll be like uh, posting more videos like this one so thank you thank you very much for uh, watching this video